believe in yourselves and in each other, and we'll make the rest history. We're gonna start with this artillery piece. Ow. We're gonna keep going with that artillery piece. We got this, everybody. Yeah! Damaged! Alright. Time to attack. This, is a, this guy deserves to become a veteran, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah! Awesome! And he did become a veteran just like I wanted him to. Soldiers. Dick. Yes, colonists. Pew, pew, pew. Farmer. He has a farmer in there, children. Oh! Shazbot. So close. So close. Well. Sweet. Seven cloth. That's cool. <laughs> oh shit! The Apache burned down Barbados. You see, that's why I don't exactly want to take that colony. Um, as you notice, the Indians get pretty offended pretty damn quick about that. Um, I might not take it over at all, or just uh leave it down to the bare minimum and leave it abandoned and let them take it back. Like, steal their colonists and rent it or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I guess I can have you, uh, help produce tools for the time being. That is definitely one reason why I don't want to capture that. Because of how angry they get really, really quickly. But we'll see, children. We'll see. By the way, uh, there's a caravel down there. I'm tempted to attack it, but, uh, I remember what happens with Caravels. <laughs> I've, I've seen that movie before, so I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and grab these, and grab this, and head on back to Montreal. Don't fuck up your movement. Good job. You didn't screw up. Build a road there. Um, let's press the attack. Dutch colonists captured by the French. French march to New Holland. 19 gold appears to have been plundered there. Ah, angry. Um, maybe I'll keep this colony for the time being, though. Maybe I can uh, placate the um, these guys enough. Colonists cannot voluntarily reduce. Damn. Okay, so I won't be able to leave anybody here out of here after all. So this place is stuck here then. Which means I will uh, continue to aggro the French for. Not the French, the. I am the French. I'll continue to aggravate the Indians for as long as I'm here. So this this colony appears to produce a nice amount of goods though. You you're producing nothing. Get to work on a dock now. Yeah, a dock. Oh my god, it's a dock. Um Where is it? There we go. I'm gonna need somebody to chop lumber. You. Rainforest. Yuck. Marsh. Yuck. Griffith does not approve at all. Building things will be slow going here, but we'll produce a nice amount of ore. I guess that's cool. Yeah. Really cool. Glad we're doing that. Okie dokie. We, uh, we, we, we thwomped the, uh, the Dutch, and that's good enough for now. I should, uh, I don't exactly have a whole lot of horses back here, though, to spare. I actually don't have any horses there at all. I need to take two horses there so that I can continue to produce those in the city. Shame on me for not thinking of that. Uh, tell you what. You'll actually go do that. Lost my train of thought there. 
Um, for the time being, we're going to have everybody slide in here into New Holland. Mighty Explore, Grim of Jaggery, but we again welcome you to New Netherlands. Really? That's nice. I don't think so. Mm, actually, you know, I'm not feeling the peace. I, I don't think so. Well, very well, then. In the name of the Stadtholder, we shall drive you from the shores of New Netherlands. Prepare for war. Uh, I was already prepared. I guess you guys didn't get the memo, did you? I'm going to boot you guys off this fucking continent. Then I might boot the English off the continent. And then, after I've spread myself so thin and barely had any time to build up a military, I'll declare war on the French king and get my ass raffle stop. Best strategy ever. Fortify there. Wait. Fortify there. And I uh, just continue to move in there. That'll be fine. You. Um. Chop lumber. Shit. That lowers my integrity level. No, it's not the integrity level. In that case, you get out of the colony. Just be a colonist. That'll be okay. Uh, shoot. Don't have anybody to spare. Um, in terms of anybody to spare and what? I meant to say horses, and once again, I would. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, I don't exactly have the food to spare. There we go. So, I will uh, send you down here to New Holland. I will kick these fuckers off my island. My land. Oh, God. They didn't attack. That's very nice and considerate of them. I'll remember that fondly. Maybe I froze them in place. I'm not sure. Yes, yes, ships are moving around, I understand. Fortress there is continuing. It's cool. Colonist has learned how to be a soldier. That's good. Where is he? Here you are. Get out of here. Go be a soldier. Should probably bring that colonist back. Huh. <laughs> who was, uh, who I just booted out of here. To, uh, to go back to work growing food. Oops. Here, you can do that. One, two, three, four, five bodies. That'll be fine. Uh, I guess I gotta attack you. And you have a unit of cargo on you, which is a hundred muskets, which I stole. Excellent. Right. Um, you don't have any horses. I need to get you horses. So, move on over there. Also, stare at all these beautiful dragoons here. That's lovely, everybody. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll go on the offensive and continue to clear these assholes away. Because they're kind of cock-blocking somebody, and, you know, that's so rude to do that. Alternatively, I could have... Well, I don't want to abandon that first, and I have this suspicion that, uh... I should rename the place. But shall we rename this colony? We shall name it... Uh... <coughs> the best name I could come up with. Potato soup. Behold the glorious colony of potato soup. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to have cayenne pepper, we might as well have, we'll have potato soup, right? Pew pew! Damn it! I made him a veteran. Well, pew pew! Aha! Welcome to being a colonist. Speaking of that, pew pew! I, um, I lost more horses along the way, children. I lost more horses along the way, but I'll get over it. You probably can't fit anybody in there, and, uh... So, you get over in there, and come into the city, and work on that. Now, you... Can I fit you in there now, without uh, losing that bonus? 
Yes! Splendid. Lots of excess food here. Damn! Such prime fishing ground it is. Yes, prime fishing ground it is. You go ahead and move on to over to Cayenne. Uh, I guess you come into the colony and uh, do something. Not sure what it is you can do, but do it. Grow food. There we go. That'll support the team. Because that'll still support the team. They're just playing around with horses. That'll be fine. Produce Liberty Bells. We're going to need help in that regard. Um, just sit there for now. That'll be fine. I see you over there, trolling around. You trolling, you're creeping, son. You're creeping. Yeah, I'm being silly. I need to get more tools and start... Start Simon Bolivar. Nice! You are still creepy as fuck, dude. Sons of Liberty membership increases by 20%. Excellent. Lumber is available. We almost have enough tools. Great. What did I was what was I here for? I was here for two horses. And I'll take the tobacco with me. Okay, uh Jacob Fuger. Which, uh, the back taxes thing in the colony is Magellan? No. John Paul Jones? No. I'm gonna go with TJ here. TJ will increase Liberty Bell production of Statesmen by 50%. I only have one Statesman around now, but, uh, I like to think that I had the potential to succeed, children. I like to think I had the potential to succeed eventually. You learn how to be a fisherman, and you produced a magazine. Well done. That means... I can move you. Now move you. Move you. No. Move you. Move you. You grow more food. Get over there. <laughs> I still need to train a fisherman, though. Huh. So I shouldn't have booted out everybody. Right. I should not have done that. So, I guess... Where is the fisherman I trained? He must have been around there. I already forgot. Damn. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, I guess that'll be good. Yeah. I guess that'll be good. You get back there to grow food, and, uh... That'll be fine. I definitely want to train more fishermen. I definitely have the colonists to spare here to continue training people. The magazine finished building, so... Uh... Hmm... Cathedral? Magically increasing the colony cross production. Okay, I'll build a cathedral then. Why not? Allow me to produce more crosses naturally. Rebel sentiment is rising! Excellent! From our founding fathers, we think we should request an audience and declare independence. Those guys will be retards. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. So I store these muskets over there in potato soup. I will definitely have the uh, the independence thing to spare now. Hell, that's all. That's almost close to 50% right there now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just randomly save things. Yeah. You need to get more tools. Go pilfer some tools from Montreal. Uh, click on you. More. 100 tools. Good. Oh. Right. You get that out of there. That'll be fine. Um... I don't, I don't exactly have a lot of people to make production right now. Fisherman, get over there. Produce more food. We don't, uh, we don't have to worry about that right now. We're, we are definitely good and solid, and we're going to keep that independence bonus. Unless we add a shit ton of people into this colony. Whew. 
Lots of colonists to keep track of, everybody. Tons and tons of colonists. It's a little difficult, not gonna lie. How many uh, Dragoons do I have here right now? Two. Okay, so I could risk attacking that square. On the other hand, see what I can do about attacking him. Hi-ho! Oh, shit. Two-thirds movement. Too risky. Too risky. <laughs> retreat, 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 retreat. Uh, just continue to remain there in that colony. Uh, you too. And, hmm, you shall head on up to Montreal to uh, eventually uh, do that northern assault. Yeah, and stuff. Alright, he was kind enough to move close to me, although he's in the trees, so that could be hazardous to my health. Whee! Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Alright! What are you doing? Fortress! SKS is finally super defended now. Woot woot! Build... A schoolhouse next? I clicked on church, didn't I? <laughs> schoolhouse. What can you all... What can you train here? Alrighty. Uh... Tell you what. Build a church right now. Let me see how many free colonists you have here. Three. I want to train you guys to be better than what you are. So I'm going to go ahead and build a schoolhouse because uh, I'm really getting confused in all of my uh, shenanigans over there in Quebec. So I'll build another schoolhouse to make that easier on my skull. Uh, drop these muskets off here. And now go on and pursue that caravel. Sweet, 100 ore and 20 ore, and I sunk it. Vengeance is mine, children. The vengeance, it be mine. Excellent. Um, out of curiosity, let's go and see what the Indians want. Let's have a chat. Trade the village. We have enough tobacco. Um, coats, rum, cigars. Okay. I'll attack this guy. And win, as it should be. Now, go capture another colonist for me. Yeah! I have so many people right now, kids. I have no idea how to keep track of all of them. <laughs> it is crazy. I'd start in my brain. Um, I guess start here and just start building roads. That'll be fine. Screw efficiency, like thinking about where I want to place something before I place it. Let's just do it and see what happens. I can buy that straight up. I'll do that. That'll be done next turn. Meantime, I'll make you a soldier. Look at all these troops I have at my disposal. Not enough horses to go around, so they're not as strong as they could be. I always buy horses. Yeah, I can go back to, uh... To England now and buy some horses and I can stash them there at potato soup and I'll be good to go I hope here's the English are continuing to move their army down to assault me or whatever uh, hmm. have you grow food and I can have you produce Liberty Bells we don't have enough room for that in the colony so go back to being a soldier now you should make a warehouse. Slowly. Sweet. SKS has a production boost now. Wonderful. This colony is about to get efficient, children. Except for the fact that I wasn't making any hammers. Yikes. Let me show you how unfortuitous that is right there. And that was excessive, too. Uh, you... Go ahead and help produce that, so I can get to training people quicker. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and free this, uh, caravel from just sitting there and doing nothing. You can take some stuff back with you, like this and this. 
I know I was talking about accruing it to trade it with the Indians, but I changed my mind. I'm feeling lazy. And I want the money now. So go to La Rochelle. Uh, Quebec needs ore, doesn't it? In a manner of speaking, yeah. It'll slowly lose ore. Two ore per turn. Uh, okay. So, head on in there then. And you'll deposit that ore in the city. Like so. Now I could say theoretically have more people work on making tools. But I won't right now. Have you go back into Montreal and deliver that cargo there. I'll have you go back into potato soup and just sit there. Same with you. And you. If I wait. Okay. I'll still have... I'll still have somebody. So you get in this colony. And you say produce food. Okay. Now... What's our... Right, it's 20% even. You get in there. And just sit there. And, uh... Were you gonna have... Get horses? No, I was just gonna leave you to defend that city. Against the, uh... The English. Who are encroaching on my turf. Their scariness. And their veterans. And stuff. <laughs> I know, that's not very descriptive, is it? You continue to move your military. I guess you're getting bored and tired there. I guess you're getting bored and tired. By the way, now that I'm thinking about it, before I uh, take a break from this game, uh, at least take a break and end this video, let's take a look at what we have going on here. Rebel sentiment is high. That's the sort of force that we'll be facing when we declare our independence. The French have red coats. I believe we've covered that before. 27 regular infantry. 10 Dragoons, eight artillery, and five mana wars. Mana wars have 24 strength, by the by. Frigates have 16. Labor advisor says we have a lot of people, dude. Economic advisor says uh, we've made a lot of money over stuff, dude, though we still not made a profit on tools. Oh well. Because I bought so many at the beginning. Um, Naval advisor. I only have two ships now. Foreign Affairs Advisor. Let's take a look at this. Military power is 66. I still have less military power than the English or the Dutch. But apparently at my disposal, I have the Wrath of Khan. I don't know. Five. Five colonies. Um, average size in each is ten. Ten colonies, average size in each is four. Population of 59. I have five fewer people than the Dutch. Naval power, that's equal. My merchant marina is the smallest. But I still have more rebels than anyone else, which gives me production boost, which allows me to be more efficient and succeed and achieve my goals. And I mean, uh, yeah, that means a lot. Anyway, that concludes this episode of Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization. Uh, I may record one more. It depends on how I feel after I end this video. I think I'll take a break. I've done a lot. I taken, I took New Holland and made a potato soup. Yeah! Damn it, now I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. The loss turn aside, though, we've done rather well for ourselves. And hopefully, being uh, French and everything, and having a missionary there, we won't have to worry about Indians attacking us. And if we do... Hopefully by that time I'll have an artillery unit there. We're going to be buying horses in Europe eventually. Whenever our dude gets there. My dude. He sells his supplies there. Looking forward to that, everybody. Looking forward to that. But until then, I'm Grimeth. And you watched me. Yeah.